Yo what's up guys welcome to coding bot in this video I'm going to show you how to run your first flat application on your windows pc I have done a separate video on how to set up flutter on your windows pc please watch that video guys before continuing this video and I will put the link on the description and I will put a card on the top of this video and um, before going to start your first flood application make sure your flutter environment is working properly i have explained this all the stuffs in this um, video which i have mentioned you before please watch that video guys and come to this video i am rather i'm running um, flutter command on my windows terminal and you can see this bigger message it is ensuring that your flutter installation or the flutter setup is success and nextly i'm running flutter doctor command flutter doctor and just press enter um, it is checking whether it is checking that um, our windows pc is ready for um, flutter application or the flutter project you can see our flutter installation is success and it will change this success android studio is not installed it is showing like this but android studio is um, working properly i don't know why it is showing like this vs code is fine and connected devices uh, is zero because we have not started any connect uh, connected device or any emulator yet and uh, please make sure this all the um, five steps are um, fine when you are starting your flutter project and now i'm closing this window right in the next step i'm going to install some extensions you can use vs code or whatever the code editor you need and uh, it is not a matter i'm using vs code in this video and now we have to install flutter extension for our vs code and just type like flutter go to the settings icon and go to this extension option and just type like flutter i have already installed flutter um, so now i'm not going to install it again after installing the this flutter extension it is automatically installing our dart extension as well you can see the dart extension is also there installed and other extensions are my according to my desire you can install them uh, if you need these all the extensions are essential and um, helpful for coding now i'm going to close this window and uh, after installing these extensions you have to um, start an android emulator so i'm using android studio to start my android emulator so you can install android studio i will uh, i have explained all the steps in the previous video which i have mentioned you before so go to the avd manager click this icon or go to the tools and go to the avd manager in avd manager you can uh, see here there's action button buttons in here i can wipe my data to clean my android emulator and i'm going to start my avd click on this play button and it is taking some seconds and starting our android emulator we are not anymore need this window so the android studio now i'm going to close android studio because it is taking um, too much ram space right now i'm again go to my vs code and in here you can see there's a view option and command palette and in command palette we have to type like flutter it is uh, prompting this uh, flutter new project option and select this application option and we have to give a location um, i'm using this desktop dbs location right in here we have to give a, a name for our project I'm giving a uh, car app and just press enter it is taking some time to download the all the stuffs and download all the packages and files uh, to configure our new flutter project please make sure guys connect your computer to internet I am I'm using my Wi-Fi connection and after running this um, all the stuffs and all the flutter commands it is finally showing that our flutter project creation is success wait until it is showing in here right you can see flutter project is ready connect a device and press f5 to start right this is the um, files this is the android um, environment and this is the ios you are knowing that uh, flutter is a cross-platform application development framework and here's the lib folder in inside of this lib folder we are um, writing our code files and there's a test folder and pub spec folder as well in here it is uh, mentioning what is the um, sdk version we are using and what are the dependencies we are using the these all the stuffs are mentioning in this pub spec 
main.yaml file or the yaml file and uh, you can see main.dart file is here we are using dart language to um, make flutter applications it is cross platform as i mentioned before android and ios both are same and um, now i'm going to run my flutter application in here you can see our home page title flutter demo home page i'm using um, code import and we can uh, change the color as well to blue because code import color is blue and uh, yeah let's change it as well let's change it after running this application now i'm going to use the flutter run command just give flutter run and it is taking some time to run your application wait until it is finishing right this is our application um coding bot you can see the title in the uh, menu bar and our application is um run successfully so we can change whatever the need uh, what are the changes we need primary search colors blue we can see the, the top uh, app bar is blue let's make it red and if you need to um, give a hot reload you have to get the simple r just press uh, on your keyboard the simple r and if you need a hot restart just press um, capital r and the all the short keys are uh, displaying uh, every time after we are running application um, in this case now i'm going to now i change this color to red let's see it is working i'm pressing on this simple r you can see our uh, changes are applying to this android emulator uh, or to the um, flat application which are which we are writing and uh, this is the video i think you got something and i you got the idea how to um, start your how to create your flat application and how to run it and how to connect your android emulator um, another thing is you can see on this um, downside uh, what is the flat sdk version you are using and what is the android emulator you are connecting to this uh, vs code you are you can also uh, connect a physical device as well create android emulator go to here and you can create a new, new emulator as well um, thank you for watching guys make sure to subscribe and comment below if you have any problem or clarifications make sure to subscribe uh, we will meet you soon in the next video